Dying really sucks, doesn't it? Costing us anywhere from 5 seconds to 5 hours of gameplay, death in video games range from a little slap on the wrist to potentially having to redo entire dungeons, chapters, or in the case of roguelikes, the entire playthrough. Because death in video games isn't devastating enough, there are some instances of brutal, untimely demises that are so horrifying that they make that sting of failure hurt that whole lot more. Not only do we fear death as a time waster, but also as an unnecessarily stressful, blood pressure raising, horrifying experience. Many of these games we played as children, and in hindsight, it's no wonder we still look back on them and remember the game over screens invading our dreams at night. Video games that don't neatly bury you in a flower-covered casket often present you with intensely gory massacres that are difficult to watch, tense jump scares that set your heart racing, or chillingly silent deaths that feel far too real. My name is Rach, welcome back to What Culture Gaming, and these are 8 terrifying game overs that make dying even worse. 8. Sonic the Hedgehog – Drowning whether it's being trapped in a nonsensical labyrinth or dealing with bloodthirsty aquatic inhabitants, water levels in video games tend to be pretty scary in general. But it is the original Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Genesis that contains such a panic-inducing drowning sequence that made children everywhere reset back to cozy green hill zone. If our blue hedgehog has been underwater too long in the likes of the labyrinth zone, the usually positive and upbeat electronic soundtrack will instantly shift to a harrowing countdown, getting louder and faster as the last remnants of oxygen disappear from Sonic's body. Those unlucky enough to be stuck underwater will face a deathly silent second of peace before Sonic sinks to the bottom of the screen, mouth agape, his lungs filling with water. Traumatic. 7. Mirror's Edge – Falling Gravity really is the hardest boss in gaming. Thankfully, games don't usually tend to focus on more than the initial few seconds after the fall. You'll lose your footing and whoops! Perhaps it's an instant game over screen, or the screen just cuts to grey, or the camera stays behind and we simply see our character just become a tiny dot. However, falling off a building or missing a tricky jump in Mirror's Edge forces you to experience the final, frantic moments of Faith's life as she plummets down to the ground below and hits the bottom with a sickening crack. This death is altogether horrifying mainly due to its first-person perspective. You will feel the very real terror that a person would be feeling knowing that they were falling to their death. The impact, too, is enough to make anyone never want to fail the game again, cutting suddenly to black, and we have only audio to help imagine what the sight of our mangled body would look like, splattered across the pavement. 6. Disney's Tarzan – Dragged Away by Alligators The sight of a child lying motionless on the ground, surrounded by circling carrion birds, probably isn't something you expected to see when you were playing a Disney game. Disney's Tarzan on the PlayStation featured multiple playable characters, and with every death there are a myriad of game over screens that will greet you in potentially very creepy ways. Young Tarzan flopping onto the screen, his body limp like a rag doll, is upsetting enough, as well as Tantor the elephant trumpeting you a respectful funeral song. Turk's death screen will have her fall into a ring of alligators quickly advancing on the lifeless gorilla, and adult Tarzan can be seen being dragged away by an alligator pulling his hair. We should have probably seen this coming after the animated movie featured that chilling scene with Clayton's hanging silhouette. Damn, Disney, you scary! 5. Ninja Gaiden Arcade No more quarters Arcades will do anything to get you to keep feeding them coins. The majority of arcade goers were young kids with a few quarters in their pockets if you were from the US, or maybe 20p if you were from the UK, and they had to think carefully about where they wanted to spend them. Some games had to come up with creative ways to keep you popping in those coins, and one such game was Ninja Gaiden. The original arcade version's Game Over slash Continue screen featured a terrifying scene with our ninja tied down and a spinning saw blade slowly descending towards his fleshy, unprotected stomach. Are you sure you don't want to continue? Not even if we saw you in half? 
The timer runs out and the saw licks its first taste of blood, the scene freezing and the screen turning red in a game over screen that punishes your lack of quarters with a gory display of halves. Other notable arcade guilt trippers include Final Fight, The Punisher, and the nightmare-inducing Cadillac and Dinosaurs, featuring a game over screen with a big ugly thug pointing a gun at you and actually pulling the trigger when the continue screen timed out. Yikes, kids! 4. XCOM UFO Defense Diplomacy Fails the 1994 occult classic strategy game known as XCOM UFO Defense, later remade as XCOM Enemy Unknown, has the player tasked with attempting to combat the extraterrestrial forces threatening the planet. Depending on your performance, the game can end with either mankind's victory or with their feeble attempts at negotiation. Not content with merely presenting you with the standard try again screen, XCOM goes the extra mile to explain in great detail the extent of the damage that your failure has caused upon the world, giving you a lengthy detailed explanation of the demise of the human race and the aliens conquer of Earth. Humans have transformed into hideous amalgamations and the XCOM project has failed. And that's just the PC version. The PlayStation port even had a fully animated sequence showing exactly what your efforts for peace have rewarded you, with alien intruders at a peace summit shooting the human leaders and sprinkling the peace treaty on the table with their blood. 3. Layers of Fear 2 – Getting Caught Layers of Fear 2 is the latest in a trend of horror games in the style of walking simulators. Similar to the likes of Amnesia, it sees you explore a nonsensical and psychologically testing environment with no means of defending yourself. Shocking each and every player who had played the first Layers of Fear, the sequel suddenly introduces a relentless pursuer, a formless man, twisted and twitching, who will chase you and grant you a game over should he catch you. You will be forced to replay the chase sequences, fumbling on door handles out of panic and running blindly down corridors into dead ends. What's worse is that the game will frequently trick you and throw the formless man at you at any opportunity. Play with the slide projector too long and it's a screeching death for you, sir. Investigate that collapsed mannequin on the ground and it's another screeching death for you, madame. It becomes frustrating and you'll be terrified to touch anything for fear of having to witness that awful death sequence for the 20 millionth time. 2. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask The Moon Falls Transported into the purgatorial world of Termina, you are told that the moon will crush the town in just three days and you have to conduct all of your business with the land and its people before this deadline hits. It's all very strange. Some of the townspeople believe it, others are skeptical, and we all wanted to know what happened when you let that timer fall to zero. And whether by innocent accident or deliberate curiousness, we all found out eventually. To no one's surprise, it is very on brand with Zelda's darkest installment. The moon really does fall and crush Clock Town, but not before a few minutes of creepy music alongside the haunting chimes of the clock tower ticking down the seconds to the town's destruction. The timer reaches zero and the moon crashes into the clock tower and then the entire town. Link looks on from a distance as the sky turns red and the force of the collision sweeps him off his feet with a scream. Majora's mask can be seen in the fires, celebrating its victory. It's the kind of game over that you only ever need to see once, ever, and you will do everything in your power to avoid it in the future. 1. Tomb Raider 2013 Stabbed, crushed, impaled, mauled, shot, maimed, pick one. Poor Lara Croft has survived countless brutal beatings throughout the years. Ever since the days that she was sporting her titular triangle tatas, Lara's tomb raiding adventures have gotten her into a multitude of dangerous and life-threatening situations. But even the terrifying square sharks of Tomb Raider 2 cannot compare to the gut-wrenching death animations in 2013's Tomb Raider. On a first playthrough, because you, like Lara, are cutting your teeth, you are bound to wind up in several grisly deadly situations. 
Whether it's being mauled by a wolf, shot in the neck with arrows, electrocuted, crushed by boulders, strangled, run through the stomach with a particularly strong tree branch, every single death in Tomb Raider is gut-wrenching, painful to watch and makes you truly despise dying. I mean, the whole thing just calls for a big dramatic montage, wouldn't you agree? There we have it guys, those are eight terrifying game overs that made death hurt just that little bit more. If there's any we've missed, you know the drill, be sure to add them in the comments below. Once again, my name has been Rach. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at Don't Rach Quit. Always good to hear from you, I hope you're doing well. Have an awesome day and we will see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.